So what's, what is the tea with tea here? This is like, you know, we started something here. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if we're going to have to finish it, too. A local professor <laughs> claims to have the answer about tea. But the Brits got word of it, and let's just say it has gone viral, like international incident yeah. viral over tea here, Greg. So the last time the U.S. and U.K. fought this much about tea, a bunch of the stuff was just dumped into the Boston Harbor. Yeah, Sheba and Jason, it's funny that you guys mentioned that because the 2024 version is a battle on Twitter, believe it or not. And it all stems from a local professor suggesting that people use salt in their tea. Right in Wayne, you can literally get a taste of Britain, from British favorite baked goods and chips to plates and other merchandise paying homage to the United Kingdom. So with all the love for the country, the owners must be from there, right? Everyone asks that. We're not. The original uh, owner of A Taste of Britain was from England. But ever since Edward and Debbie Pierce took over about 12 years ago, they've continued to keep it going. And of course, what is a taste of Britain without tea? Our full afternoon tea is our specialty. It comes with tea sandwiches, scones, pastries, and a pot of tea. Which commonly they offer sugar or milk for their tea. But how about some salt? Personally, I enjoy my tea the way the Queen did, which is black tea with just a splash of milk. That's my cup of tea. Putting salt in it, that's not my cup of tea. But it is Michelle Francel's. So much so, the chemistry professor from Bryn Mawr College wrote about it in her book, Steep the Chemistry of Tea, which she wrote after a tweet from a chemist asking, does the shape of a tea bag matter? It turns out there's tons of stuff about, um, about tea in the chemistry literature, including about the shape of the tea bag. Mm -hmm. So I wrote a little essay, and then an editor saw it, and the pandemic hit, and it was like, can you write a whole book? Out of that 200-page book, a certain part caught the attention of many. Her suggestion of adding a pinch of salt to your tea to make the perfect tea. Sodium ions in the salt block some of the bitter receptors. And so the bitter compounds don't, don't bind and you can't taste them. And so it makes it just a little smoother, a little less bitter. But the folks in the UK strongly beg to differ. To the point, the US Embassy of London tweeted a press release stating, tea is the elixir of camaraderie, a sacred bond that unites our nations. We cannot stand idly by as such an outrageous proposal threatens the very foundation of our special relationship. Well, my response back is I'm not bitter about it. Um, and I understand that um, you know they may feel differently, but I stand by the science. Um, and I suggest that they channel their inner scientist and try it out. All right, we are channeling the inner scientist. We will not be like the Brits. We are going to try this out. Hold on. Pour a little bit in here. Okay. You see, I got some here. Here's yes. the salt. A pinch. I, 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 I don't I, know. I think it, that it, was it, a pinch, it, right? It, it, <laughs> a pinch Greg. Let's try. cheers 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 okay let's... oh pinky out dude yeah there oh, it is uh, you didn't stir anything uh, up either Greg. <laughs> he made a face <laughs> he might be on the brick yeah, side I, I, maybe i'm not doing this justice hold on let me let me stir it up because I, I i feel like she's gonna be mad at me if i did my first impression of it pinky out yes you don't taste uh. the salt Oh. I gotta admit it. Now, before I mixed it, I, I, I had tried it and I was like, ooh, this, this is bad. I mean, all I taste is salt. But you don't taste the salt. It's actually not bad at all. Huh. Not bad at all. I do have a serious question here. Did she make any recommendations uh, on what, is this for all tea? Like if I had apple cinnamon tea, do I put salt in that? Is it for all teas? She said, yeah, it's fine. You could put it in huh. all teas. And she was mentioning one of the reasons why she does it is if she brews the tea a little bit too long, she decides to put salt in it. And she says it, it helps. Okay. And so, you know, I, I have to admit, the science, it works. You don't even taste the salt. Mm -hmm. Best right. part of it is the Brits are mad. <laughs> issuing a statement. I mean, it, this, like, this is the one thing you don't mess with out there. And so we ruffled their feathers. They, they got to try it. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. All right, Greg, thank you very much. It's a fun one. We got to try. I got to drink more tea. We got to we got to get Kermit the Frog in on this debate. Yeah, too, that's but that's know? none of my business. That's none of my business. Mm -hmm.